Hey YouTube, I have another add-on tutorial for you guys today. It's basically going to be covering an add-on called Tell Me When. You can configure this add-on by typing in slash TMW in chat. Uh, however, you probably won't be getting a Lua error like I am. To begin tracking a proc, all you need to do is right-click on one of the empty icons. From there, you can click on the drop-down box and select anything from spell cooldown to item cooldown to buff slash debuffs. I've never really used any of the other options uh, as I don't have any experience with the shaman with totems or diminishing returns. Uh, I do use Gladius instead of that, so um, I'm not entirely sure how the rest of these work, but I do know that tracking a buff slash debuff and spell cooldowns work perfectly fine. To track something like Tiger's Eye Brew with 10 stacks, all you need to do is click on buff slash debuff and type in Tiger's Eye Brew. Uh, the suggestions box will actually pick up all the result you're trying to look for. Make sure that it's indeed on you, that the units to watch is player, and that you're checking that it is a buff and you are showing the timer. Uh, since it is Tiger's Eye Brew, you, you do use uh, Tiger's Eye Brew with 10 stacks, so you want to click on a stack requirement a minimum of 10 and a maximum of 20 because that is what Tiger's Eye Brew is. If you want to make it glow like you see uh, Bajira has it or any other popular streamers basically have their uh, their tell me when is basically what you have to do is go to events, click add event handler, on show, animation, activation border, and play indefinitely. This essentially makes it so that it will constantly be glowing for the duration of the proc or however whatever you're tracking basically. If you're attempting to track a weapon enchant, don't actually use the weapon enchant. Use buff slash debuff and just do the exact same thing. Make sure it's a buff, it's on the player, uh, you have the timer, it's glowing if you want to. Uh, all you really need to do is just type in the enchant that you want. So for me it would be Surge of Conquest. Uh, and if you're trying to track a weapon uh, enchant, all you have to do is dan type in Dancing Steel here, it'll pick it up. Uh, Basically, any weapon enchant with a duration that just procs will show up here. Uh, I'm not sure. If, I'm not sure which ones are supported, but for at least Mr. Pandaria, the current uh, trinkets are indeed tracked, or they do have them in their database. If you're attempting to track a, a spell cooldown from your class, all you need to do is click on spell cooldown, and it's just it's so simple. All you need to do is type in the cooldown you want to track. Uh, for example, let's say I wanted to track leg sweep here. Just click on leg sweep, show timer, and um, this is kind of important. If you want to track its usability, uh, you you know simply check that. And if you want to check its unusability, check that. Uh, for me, I'm just going to check its unusability. When I go to slash tell me when, uh, it's basically going to tell me how long is left on that specific cooldown. However, I didn't do that quite right. Uh, quite correctly. Usability, lake sweep, spell cooldown, show time. Oh, that's right. I have uh, stack requirements here. Make sure you don't have stack requirements on, otherwise it will not show up. Uh, it's actually happened to me before already. So as you can see, it's already being tracked there. It's just it's showing its cooldown. And as you can see below that, I even have uh, some things already tracked, like my roll, uh, my tiger's lust, and uh, my my chi bruise and my trinket. You know, those are all bound there. And if I were to go ahead and AoE between these two target domains, you can actually even see that I have both of my procs already tracked. And uh, I do indeed have my Tiger's Eye Brew already tracked. So just simple things like that, like my Tiger's, my Tiger's, uh, my Tiger Power, excuse me. Uh, stuff like that, just stuff I, I really kind of want to keep track of that needs to be on the target, you know, 24-7. Uh, you know, stuff just... I can basically keep track of easily. So that essentially wraps up this tutorial. Hopefully I was able to cover everything and it didn't take too long. Uh, you know, I hope it helped everybody. And, uh, you know, if you have any questions, just leave a comment. Um, that's pretty much it. If you like the video, make sure you subscribe and or you know, like the video or check out my channel. Uh, hopefully I have some other content that you might like. And that's basically all.